Hey guys, Coach here. Hey, this week's plan of the week, I'm bringing you the variegated Arctic willow, also known as Hakuro Nashiki willow. One that I used a little bit in the upper foothills of Northern California, but very, very widespread back here in the New England states and the colder regions of the country and world. Hakuro Nishiki, its claim to fame is in springtime when it first pops out, it has kind of a pinkish tinge, new leaf to it. And then as you look at it, you can see the variegated dappled look to it, often called a dappled willow as well. But Hukuru Nashiki is a cold tolerant beast. These things would be able to tolerate almost to the Arctic Circle, if not in the Arctic Circle. They're just a fantastic, fantastic industrial strength. Great for uh, hedging, great for uh, keeping small uh, green meatballs if you want. But I think it looks best if you let it go au naturel and let it come up and do its arching variegated branches. And that's where it really looks best, in my humble opinion. It loves a little bit more of an acidic soil, but not that low, say in the six, 5.5. And they can also tolerate some of the alkaline soils up around 7.5, almost eight. But it does better right around neutral. Hakuro Nishiki Willow, also called the Dappled Willow. Check it out at your local mom and pop nursery or garden center. See if you can find it. If not, they can order it. Do some due diligence online. Make sure it's the type of plant that's gonna fit in your particular project and particular area, but uh, pretty industrial strength. Hey, it's Coach with this week's plant of the week. I love this plant. It looks so good. Now it is bare, bare, naked during the winter time, but uh, during the growing season, it's really, really nice. Great background plant as well. I'll catch you guys next week. Thank you.